What is a serial device server? You are the N-series and network-based serial device servers that connect to serial devices, such as PLC, meters, sensors, serial printers, and color readers to TCP IP network. That coming from Ethernet port is direct sent to the serial port. That coming from serial port is direct sent to the Ethernet port, allowing bidirectional communication. So networking, you can remote control and monitor serial devices over LAN or over the Ethernet. Today, we will show you how to connect and test our USR serial device servers USRN520 device. We can prepare like this. Route USRN520 device, PC. Firstly, we can connect the Ethernet port USRN520 device to the same router with the PC. Then, we need to connect the power adapter. Okay, after connecting the device, we can click search to find the device. Right-click the device name to log into its external web page. We can change its IP mode in network interface. We can change the serial parameters and socket parameters in this interface. It also supports connecting to our USR cloud and AWS cloud. In this interface, we will show you how to transmit the sensor data to USR Cloud. So we need to change the IP mode to DHCP firstly. Save and apply. Continue. Change the serial parameters to be consistent with the sensor. Save and apply. Continue. Enable USR Cloud function. Part 1. Save and apply. Restart the device. We will take the temperature and helm the sensor and the IO controller as an example. We will show you how to transmit the mode bus data to our PUSR cloud. We can connect the serial port of the sensor to port 1. Connect the serial port of the IO controller to port 2. Now, we need to add the USR serial device server in USR cloud. Click Add Device. Change the device name. Change the organize. Fill in the SN and MAC of the device. You can check them in the back label of the device. Click to add a template. Add a template. Change the template name. Click mode bus. Mode bus RTU cloud. Then click save. Continue to configure snips and the variables. Edit the slave number. It needs to be consistent with your serial device. Add the data point. Add the humidity point. We can see the device is on one. Then we can directly click the device name to check the temperature and the humidity sensor data. In device template, you can also design your own configuration diagram. It will be displayed in the monitor screen. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about our product, please visit our official website www.pusr.com